Cuba Little Girls event was a terrorist attack that occurred on September 15, 1963, in Birmingham, Alabama. A bomb planted by members of the Ku Klux Klan exploded at the 16th Street Baptist Church, killing four young African-American girls who were attending Sunday school. The victims were Addie Mae Collins, Cynthia Wesley, Carol Robertson, and Denise McNair. The bombing shocked the nation and galvanized the civil rights movement. It was one of the most horrific acts of racial violence in U.S. history. The Ku Klux Klan, KKK, is an American white supremacist terrorist hate group founded in 1865. The KKK used terror tactics such as lynching, burning crosses, and bombing to target black people and other groups they opposed, such as immigrants, Jews, Catholics, and Muslims. The KKK had three major waves of activity, the first in the Reconstruction era, 1865-1877, the second in the 1920s, and the third in the 1950s and 1960s in response to the civil rights movement. The KKK is still active today, with an estimated 5,000 to 8,000 members across the United States. People fought against the KKK in various ways throughout history. Some of the methods were Legal action, Congress passed several laws to protect the rights of black people and to suppress the KKK violence, such as the Enforcement Acts of 1870-1871 and the Civil Rights Act of 1875. President Ulysses S. Grant also declared martial law and sent federal troops to arrest and prosecute KKK members in some southern states. In later years, Civil rights activists and organizations such as the NAACP filed lawsuits against the KKK for violating the civil rights of black people and won several cases in court. Nonviolent resistance, black people and their allies used nonviolent methods such as boycotts, sit-ins, marches, and speeches to protest against segregation and discrimination and to demand equal rights. They also formed organizations such as the NAACP, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, SCLC, and the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC, to educate, mobilize, and empower black communities. Some of the most famous leaders of this movement were Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, John Lewis, and Malcolm X. Armed self-defense, some black people and groups resorted to armed self-defense to protect themselves and their communities from KKK attacks. They formed militias, vigilantes, or guerrilla groups such as the Deacons for Defense and Justice, the Black Panther Party, and the Republic of New Africa. They also acquired weapons, trained themselves in combat skills, and patrolled their neighborhoods to deter or confront KKK violence. The Deacons for Defense and Justice was an armed African-American self-defense group founded in November 1964 in Jonesboro, Louisiana by Ernest Chili Willie Thomas and Frederick Douglass Kirkpatrick. Most of its members were veterans of World War II and the Korean War. The group was created to protect civil rights activists from the KKK violence that was rampant in the South. The Deacons had about 20 chapters in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama and Arkansas. They provided security for marches, rallies, voter registration drives, and other civil rights activities. They also cooperated with nonviolent groups such as CORE and SCLC. The Deacons gained national attention during the summer of 1965 when they confronted the KKK in Bogalusa, Louisiana. Their actions forced the federal government to intervene on behalf of the local black community. The Black Panther Party was a Marxist, Leninist, and Black Power political organization founded by college students Bobby Seale and Huey P. Newton in October 1966 in Oakland, California. The party's original purpose was to patrol black neighborhoods to protect residents from police brutality. The Panthers eventually developed into a revolutionary group that called for the arming of all African Americans, the exemption of African Americans from the draft and from all sanctions of so-called white America, the release of all African Americans from jail, and the payment of compensation to African Americans for centuries of exploitation by white Americans. The Panthers also instituted a number of social programs such as free breakfast for children, health clinics, education classes, clothing drives, drug rehabilitation programs, and legal aid services. At its peak in 1968, the Black Panther Party had roughly 2,000 members across the country. 
The party faced intense repression from local police forces and from the FBI, which launched a covert program called Cointelpro to infiltrate, disrupt, and destroy the Panthers and other radical groups. The party also suffered from internal conflicts, criminal activities, and violent clashes with rival organizations. By the mid-1970s, the Black Panther Party had largely disbanded. Cointelpro, an acronym for Counterintelligence Program, was a series of covert and illegal projects actively conducted by the FBI from 1956 to 1971 to surveil, infiltrate, discredit, and disrupt domestic American political organizations. FBI records show Cointelpro targeted groups and individuals the FBI deemed subversive, such as the Communist Party, the Socialist Workers' Party, Puerto Rican independence groups, the Black Panther Party, the American Indian Movement, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and the Ku Klux Klan. Many of the techniques used by Cointelpro were intolerable in a democratic society and violated the constitutional rights of the targets, such as psychological warfare, forged documents, false reports in the media, harassment, wrongful imprisonment, illegal violence, and assassination. According to a Senate report, the FBI's motivation was backslash protecting national security, preventing violence, and maintaining the existing social and political order backslash. Cointelpro was exposed in 1971 when a group of activists burglarized an FBI office in Media, Pennsylvania and released confidential files to the press. A major investigation was launched in 1975 by the U.S. Senate Select Committee to study governmental operations with respect to intelligence activities, commonly known as the Backslash Church Committee Backslash, which sharply criticized Cointelpro and recommended reforms to prevent such abuses in the future.